Hello everyone. In this video, we shall discuss question number 6 of exercise 3.3. .3. Write a digit in the blank space of each of the following numbers so that the number formed is divisible by 11. This question has part A and part B that we are going to discuss today. So in part A, it's a 6 digit number where the third digit is missing. So to solve this problem, first we need to know the divisibility test of 11. It states that uh, to find if a number is divisible by 11 or not, we need to find the difference between the sum of the digits at odd places and sum of the digits at even places. If the difference is either 0 or divisible by 11, then the number is divisible by 11. Now what does this mean? Let's understand this using these examples. Let's say I have the number as 5445. First I will mark the odd places and the even places. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. These are my odd places and these are my even places because we know that 1 and 3 are odd numbers and 2 and 4 are even numbers. Now I will find the sum of the digits at odd places. The sum would be 5 plus 4 which is 9. Now sum of the digits at even places would be 4 plus 5 that is 9. Now if I find the difference That would be 9 minus 9 which is 0. So since I get a 0, that means this number 5445 is divisible by 11. Let's take the next example that is 10,824. So again, we follow the same steps. Let's mark the position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is odd. Odd. 1, 3, 5 are odd. And 2 and 4 are even positions. Okay. First, I'll find the sum of the digits at odd places. So odd places we have... 4, 8 and 1, right? So that's 4 plus 8 plus 1 and that gives me 12 plus 1, 13. Now I'll find the sum of the digits at even places. So that is 2 plus 0. That is 2. If I find the difference, that would be 13 minus 2 which is 11. Since I get a 11, that means this number is divisible by 11. Okay, I hope this is clear to you. So here is the first problem. It's a six digit number and the third digit is missing. So let's say let x be the missing digit. So let's say this is x and we will mark our positions. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now we will find the sum of the digits at odd places. So we have 9 plus 3 plus 2 and that is 14. Then we find the sum of the digits at even places and that is 8 plus x plus 9 which is 17 plus x. Now we have to find the difference. So we can clearly see that 17 is greater than 14. So we would do 17 plus x minus 14 and that gives me x plus 3. Okay. The difference is x plus 3. Now the given number for the given number to be divisible by 11 x plus 3 must be equal to 11. So if I solve that then if I subtract 3 from both sides, I get x equals to 
8. So my missing digit is 8 and the number formed would be 9, 2, 8, 3, 8, 9. This is the number formed. Now you can cross check this uh, by uh, dividing it by 11. So here what we would do is we will just divide it and just check. This is actually not required. This is just for explanation purpose and for you to see whether we, what you have done is correct or not. 9, 2, 8, 3, 8, 9 and I am dividing this by 11. So 11 times 8 is 88 and if I subtract this I get 4. 48, 11 times 4 is 44, I get 4 again, 11 times 3 is 33, so I get 10, 8 comes down, then we have 11 times 9 is 99, and I get 9, and the last digit 9 comes down, so it's 11 times 9, and I'll just no space here. So, 0. So, we see that the remainder is 0. That means 11 is completely dividing this number. It's a factor of this number, right? Okay. Now, let's move on to the next question. We shall follow the same steps. It's again a six digit number, and here this digit is missing. So, we will mark this uh, again first the position. So, it's 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 and 6 and let x be the missing digit. Let x be the missing digit. So some of the digits at odd places we have uh, 1, 3 and 5. So the digits are 4, 4 and x. So that's 4 plus 4 plus x which gives me 8 plus x. Some of the digits at even places is 8 plus 9 plus 8. Right, so 8 plus 9 plus 8 gives me 8 plus 8 is 16, 16 plus 9 is uh, 25. So 25. Now I see 25 is greater here, right? So to find the difference, it's big number minus small number, so it's 25 minus and put this entire thing within the bracket, okay? So then this is 25 minus 8 minus x and that gives me 17 minus x. Now 17 minus x must be equal to 11. So 17 minus x equals to 11. We solve for uh, x. So I can just uh, take it as 17 minus 11 and take the x on the other side. So x would be equal to 17 minus 11 is 6. So the missing digit is 6 or x equals to 6 or the missing digit is 6. So the number formed would be 8, 6, 9, 4, 8, 4. And again, if you want, you can just divide it by 11 and check if you are getting the remainder 0. Just that is for your understanding or uh, just for rechecking purpose. I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.